Hey guys, it's Cindy. Today I'm going to be doing a giant book haul for the month of June. I do have quite a few books to show you, so I'm going to go ahead and get through this kind of quickly. Um, so I have a couple of different stacks. I have like books that I got at a library book sale. I have a book outlet box and then I have books that I got like at um, HPB and at Amazon Books A Million. So I'm going to jump into the ones that I got from my library book sale. They have like $1 and $2 books there. So the first one that I got was Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay. I've heard a lot of people talk about this. I think it has to do with like kind of like Jane Steele but it has like some gore and murder so I'm really excited to read this one and I got this one for a dollar the blue stickers do mean one dollar and then the green ones mean two so the next book I got is Fates and Furies by Lauren Groff I actually if you guys can hear that my little brother and sister home I have no idea what this book is about but I have seen so many people haul it from their book of the month picks and I like that it was like in the floppy paperback version if you know me that is like my favorite style of books and I got this one for a dollar as well oh my god it's so hot here today it's like I think like 90 something and it's hot as hell in my house and I have um lights right here so it's really really hot so the next one I got is actually an arc and I know they're not supposed to sell arcs but it's like a library book sale so I was like what the hell I'll just buy it. It was $2 and it is Anger is a Gift by Mark Oshiro. I do want to get the actual hard copy of this. I've heard a lot of people talk about this book and I'm so excited to read it. Um, I know Natasha from My Reading is Odd is absolutely obsessed with this book so I need to read it soon. Then I got this book because Chelsea from Chelsea Dolling Read suggested this like for a contemporary thon recommendations a long time ago and it is something borrowed by Emily Giffen and I got this one for a dollar. This is just like a, a, rom a romance novel. Then I am slowly trying to collect Rick Riordan's books, but it's been taking so long because <laughs> I only pick them up when they're like on the super sale. So I got Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, and this one was $2. This is The Sword of Summer. I have no idea what these books or what this one is about because I haven't read any of them because I'm collecting them slowly so that way I can read throughout the whole series. It's probably going to take like my entire life to collect this series. So this is one that I've heard a lot of people talk about. I haven't read anything from this author, but she reads, a, she reads, she writes a lot of thrillers and I'm trying to get more into thrillers. So this is The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty. Um, I've heard a lot about her other book that was turned into like a Hulu or HBO show. Um, so I'm excited to read this one. And I just have a couple more. So another arc that they had there was Stay Sweet by Siobhan Vivian and that one was a dollar as well. And then this is a book that I actually have the UK paperback version of somewhere on my shelves. But So they had the hardback there for only $2 and I felt like it was a better deal and I actually wanted the hardback version. So it is Invictus by Ryan Grodden. I'll probably either like donate my paperback version or give it to my sister. Um, so yeah, I got the hardback version of that. And then this is a book that I've been wanting to read and they had it and it was actually a book of the month book and they were selling it for $2 and it is Emma and the Night by Wendy Walker. If you guys follow Book Outlet on Instagram, you will know that recently they had a, I think it was 15% off your order. They were having like a huge sale and I was not going to order and not going to order at the last minute. I did place an order it wasn't that big of an order <laughs> um so the first book that I got was this mortal Co mortal coil by Emily Suvada this was a book that was going around quite a lot a couple of months ago but then I didn't really hear anyone talk about it that's usually what happens like when a book is released it's like everywhere but then after like a couple months afterwards no one's talking about it anymore so I don't know if this was actually a good one I just know that it has to do with like um alternating dna and that's like really interesting to me especially in a fantasy novel as, and i'm a bio major of course so this is going to be really interesting and then i got sourdough by robin sloan i've been wanting to read this one too because it has a lot to do with like um making dough and making bread and i guess like the main character makes bread and one day he starts to see the face of a man inside of the bread. Um, I've heard really good things about this so I picked this one up. This is like the paperback version. A couple months ago I read Roomies by Christina Lauren. I absolutely loved it so I decided to pick up another book from them. I've heard this one is not their best but I really like that one and a lot of people were saying it wasn't the best one either. So this is Dating You Hating You. So the next book I got is The Chaos of Standing Still. This was actually from Walmart but they had it on um 
book outlet and all I know about this is it's a book that deals with a lot of grief and about a best friend that dies and her friend has an uh, like a text message or a voicemail on her phone that she hasn't checked from the best friend. I think it's a text message. Mm. That one message, yeah. So it sounds really good. I've been dealing, I've been reading a lot of contemporaries that have to do with like darker tones and darker messages. So I'm really excited to read this one too. And then on the same note of like a darker contemporary, I read or I picked up A Tragic Kind of Wonderful by Eric Lindstrom. Did I pick up another book by this author? I'm not sure. I might have. I feel like I just said the author's name. Um, I don't think so. But this is about a main character that does have bipolar disorder and I love like mental health books. So I'm really excited that I got, that I found this one. They have another one called Not If I See You First. I've seen that cover like a lot of different places. And then this is a book that I actually have already read. I bought it, borrowed it from my library um, when it first came out. I'm not sure when this book came out. But I did read it and... It is Renegades by Marissa Mayer, or Meyer, no, Mayer, and this was a Walmart copy as well, but I have already read this. It is about a world that has, um, oh my god, I can't even remember now. It has two sides, which are the Renegades and the Anarchists, and there is, like, a main character named Adrian, and he's, like, he's a, he's a renegade, so he's, like, the good guy, and then, like, the other main character, her name is, um... I think they call her like nightmare nova so nova is an anarchist and she has to infiltrate the renegades in order to like bring them down but everyone doesn't know that obviously she's actually an anarchist so this was really good this is the only marissa meyer marissa meyer book i get her confused with stephanie meyer which their names are pronounced this are written the same so i don't know why they're pronounced so different but marissa meyer Stephanie Meyer yeah this is the only Marissa Mayer book that I've read so um I want to read her Lunar Chronicles as well even though I like own all of them except for the last one <laughs> so this was another fantasy novel it is girls made of snow and glass I just know that this is a retelling it has like stepmothers evil stepmothers and princesses and stuff so it's going to be really interesting I've actually heard not so great of things about this one and it is by Melissa Basha Darst. Basha Darst? I think I said that completely wrong. Um, the, these books, these first three, I'm not sure if I already showed them. I really hope I didn't. But the first one is The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. I've heard absolutely amazing things about this book. I'm so excited to read it. I've seen a lot of people talk about this and they have similar reviews and similar, like, likes in the romance field and they've absolutely loved this. I've heard nothing but amazing things. I'm sure we all know what this is about. Um, it's about a main character named Stella and Stella has Asperger's and she's very like, um, she has very low like confidence as well as forth as her sexuality and she wants to like build that up and become like sexier and more comfortable with having sex and that kind of relationship with someone so she ends up or um not ordering <laughs> she ends up getting an escort and his name is michael fan and he's vietnamese and that's them on the cover and it's supposed to be super cute and super sexy and just like a really good time so i'm really excited to read this one the next one i got is listen to your heart by casey west this one as well as Save the Date by Morgan Matson. I'm not sure if I hauled these already. I'm really not sure. I don't think I did. Um, but Casey West, I loved Casey West's last book that she wrote, Love, Life, and the List. I really liked that one. Um, and this one has to do with a girl named Elena? No, Kate. And Kate is chosen to do a podcast along with her best friend. And one day, a guy that her best friend has a crush on ends up calling into the podcast and um over time she ends up finding out that she actually likes him as well my sister read this she absolutely loved it so yes and then this was save the day by morgan matson i actually got this one i believe off of amazon or books a million and it was actually like a signed copy so i have a bunch of her other books but I've, i don't have any signed ones so i love her um her dust jackets as well as like the inside they're just so pretty 
but this one is about a wedding and like everything that can go wrong does go wrong and um she hasn't seen her family in a very long time it's supposed to be good but i haven't heard like that great of things about this one so i'm a little hesitant to go into it i've been on such a romance kick like literally since i finished the hating game all i want to do is read romance now and any sort of like contemporary romance i'm like so about it so i picked up my oxford year and this is by julia wellen i actually don't know what this is about but i heard it being compared to um the hating game as well as the kiss quotient like this was one of the suggested so i picked it up even though i don't know what it's about because i just really wanted to read something along those lines if you guys have any recommendations for your favorite romance novels somewhere along the lines of like hate to love or like fake date type of things those are like my favorite romance tropes i just got done reading the wedding day and i like that one too where it was like um they met in an elevator and she pretended to be his girlfriend she, yeah and i really like that one too so I actually got this one. I met her at a book signing like two years ago and I didn't pick up her book and I like regret it not getting it. And it is Labyrinth Lost by uh, Soreta Cordova. I really want to read this one because it's not often that I see books published by Hispanic authors and I myself am Hispanic. And this has to do with witches which are brujas which are how they're called in Spanish. So I'm really excited to read this one and I heard it's like written really beautifully as well as like the magic system is really different. I love this cover. I feel like I'm talking like 100 miles per hour and I'm really really sorry. <laughs> so I also got um oh my gosh I have two more over there. Um but I also got Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson. I've heard everyone talk about this and everyone rave about it and it's about a girl who loses her best friend. Her best friend dies and everyone I believe everyone's saying that it's suicide but she does not believe that her best friend killed herself. Um, so she ends up bringing her best friend back from the dead. The only thing is that she's not the only one that comes back. Apparently two other girls that like weren't the nicest of girls come back too. So I'm really excited to read this one. I love anything witchy. Like I'm in such a witchy mood right now. So the first one I got was Goodbye Perfect by Sarah Bernard. I also got another one from her called Beautiful Broken Things. I think her covers are like so reflective and so beautiful. I read this one. It is about a teacher teacher student romance but not in the sense that you would think it'd be about it has like the main character is not the the one that's involved with the teacher it's the best friend so the main character's best friend is involved with the teacher and she's like way too young to be with him and overall i did not love this book i think i gave it like a three star it wasn't my favorite um, I think the best friend, well, point is, that's that's totally not the point of this video. If you want to see how I feel about this book, then totally watch my wrap-up for the month, because I just, I have a lot of feelings about that one. Um, and then I got Beautiful Broken Things. I don't know what this one is about, but I wanted a couple of Sarah Bernard's books, because Books and Lala suggested that she was, like, one of her favorite authors. So then I also got... The Wedding Date by Jasmine Guillory. I read this this month as well. I really enjoyed it. I did get the UK one because like this cover is just absolutely gorgeous compared to the US one. And once again, this is about an, <laughs> a relationship that forms off of meeting in an elevator so they're inside of an elevator they're an interracial couple and their elevator ends up breaking down and he's like complaining to her that he has to go to this wedding this weekend his ex-girlfriend's wedding and he does not have a date so he ends up asking her to be his date it's super cute it has it touches on a lot of important topics as well and I really really enjoyed this one. I picked up I Stopped Somewhere by T.E. Carter. I haven't read anything from this author before but I know this is like a deeper contemporary that does deal with domestic abuse. So I, I want to read this one and I want to read a couple more and maybe do just like a review on them and um, I hope it's done well. The last two books that I got from Book Depository I got Vicious by V. Schwab. I love Victoria Schwab's writing, so I had to pick this one up, especially because the sequel is coming out soon. I think it comes out in, like, August or October. I'm not really sure, but um, I don't know what this one is about, but I just picked it up because it was Victoria Schwab. So the last book I picked up from Book Depository it is The Way You Make Me Feel by Maureen Gu. I love this cover. This was the paperback, the hard copy. The U.S. hard copy looks exactly the same, and it even has a picture of the little... 
um, food truck on the back. The only thing I know about this is that um, the main character is forced to work at her parents' food truck for the summer and the food truck is a Korean-Brazilian mix. So it is called Cobra and I haven't read anything of Morning Crew. A couple months ago, I was supposed to read The Way You Make Me Feel. No, that's this one. <laughs> I believe in a thing called love, but I haven't read it. So I picked this one up. I love this cover. Um, she's just absolutely gorgeous. So I picked up some books from Half Priced Books. And I absolutely love that place. <laughs> it's very dangerous to go into. Um, so the first one that I got was Alex and Eliza. And this is by Melissa De La Cruz. I have not read this one. And I have not seen Hamilton or read it for that matter so I actually don't know what it's about <laughs> but I've heard a lot of people talk about this one I know that the sequel is already out and I haven't even read the first one which is always the case with me so I went ahead and picked this one up because it was only $8.99 as forth as this one the sequel is out already too and it is The Bone Witch by Rin Chupeco. And this one was $8.99 as well. I love this cover. Um, the sequel is out. It is about a witch. But it is... I believe she practices necromancy. Which I haven't read anything like that before. So I think this is going to be very like dark and twisted. But like in a good way. And then the last one I picked up was actually like uh, an adult novel. And it is An American Marriage by Tayari Jones. I'm actually going to be meeting this author in September and um, I'm actually not sure what this one's about but I've heard a lot of people talk about it and I believe it was like one of the book of the month picks so I went ahead and picked it up. It also says that it's part of o Oprah's book club. So I have three left. I, If you guys have made it this far you guys are amazing because this has been such a long haul and the oh man this one got all bent up. So the next one that I have is Made You, I, Made you Up by Francesca Zappia. I read Eliza and Her Monsters a couple months ago. I think it's been almost a year to be honest. And I really like that one so I went ahead and picked this one up. Um, this is about a main character that has schizophrenia. And once again I'm trying to read more mental health contemporary so I was really excited when I saw this one. It was like super cheap off of Amazon and it is like the perfect perfect floppy paperback I mean look at that that's just it's just amazing and then I got two other books that are kind of new releases I got the wicked deep by Erin sorry I get her I always want to call her Erin Sheshaw instead of she Earnshaw <laughs> or Shay sorry she okay Shay Earnshaw and I have not stopped hearing about this book and I just absolutely had to get it because it was giving me major like um, Hocus Pocus vibes and I love that movie so much. On a side note, they said that they were going to recreate Hocus Pocus. How? How? It's perfect. So um, the Swan Sisters have, they come back every every summer and they take over the bodies of the of teen girls in the town and I just cannot wait to read this like I think it's going to be absolutely amazing the book itself is gorgeous like this is such a beautiful book I really wish that I could meet this author just to get like a signed copy <laughs> and the next or the last book in this haul is um one from an author that I'm going to meet once again in September there's going to be a huge book festival here so I will be meeting a lot of authors and I'm super excited for it so that is Monday's Not Coming and this is by Tiffany D. Jackson um I met her last year too when I got her other book allegedly signed and I am going to read this one soon because they actually voted for me to read it on um my Instagram story um, so shameless plug follow me on Instagram it'll be down below and basically the her best or Claudia who is the the main character in the book her best friend named Monday has d disappeared and she feels like no one cares like no one is even acknowledging that she is gone so it's her trying to like look for her best friend and I believe when her best friend does come back it's just kind of like her dealing with the answers and seeing what happened to her so it is definitely like a darker um, deeper contemporary that I don't feel like anyone is talking about so I'm really excited to read this one and give my thoughts on it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was a long one and it was like a lot of books but 
that's kind of what happens nowadays <laughs> i just ordered too many books but i know i'm not the only one <laughs> so if you guys have read any of these or are interested in any of them please let me know down below so i can prioritize my tbr thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will talk to you guys next time